So I'm Claire Reynolds from Restoke, and we're an arts organisation based here in Stoke-on-Trent. We work in dance and singing and music and visual arts and spoken word. Um, and we started 10 years ago in 2009 as a collaboration between three artists. Um, we involve people in making performances that tell stories of people's lived experiences here in Stoke. So our aims are to bring people together to sing and dance and share stories and be brave and to create performances that maybe share people's experiences that wouldn't normally be seen or heard. Our work is, we've always been based in Stoke on Trent. So the three artists who started Restoke, um, we were all born and raised here um, and we I feel like Stoke provides an endless amount of inspiration for us in terms of making performances and I think we just feel committed to the fact that we will always exist in whatever form or way and that we keep responding to the communities who we work with and we keep responding to audiences who come and see our work and tell us what they want to see or what they want to do and um, yeah so even though the, the state of funding may keep changing and the places where we have to access that might keep changing we feel confident that we will be here because this is where we live and this is where we work and we don't plan on changing that anytime soon. So although I wouldn't describe what Restoke does as, as activism, um, we are focused on um, social change and we do that through bringing people together to sing and dance and share stories and create, um, which in a time like now feels quite radical, but actually those things are fundamental part of the human experience and a lot of parts of the world are just a key part of human existence to express ourselves physically and with our voices and through storytelling and I, I find it quite bizarre that we now have to repackage that and give it back to people as a thing that, that is different and unusual um, so yeah so I think fundamentally our work is about sharing the, the joy in that and finding different ways to express ourselves and, and it is different and it is radical but it, it shouldn't be. So I think my advice would be, if you want to create work where you are, where you live, no matter how challenging the circumstances are for the people and the place and society, is look for the bright spots. So, so look for the things that, um, where things are working, look for things where there's stuff to build on and stuff to grow from, because it's easy sometimes to get caught up in how difficult things are. But I think if we stay focused on the positives in our communities, there's always stuff to build on, there's always stuff to grow. And I think as an artist, for me, it's about sharing what you love. And so for me, that has been as a dancer and as someone who's always loved movement and dance, and I feel totally committed to, to kind of sharing the joy in that to other people and giving the opportunity for more people to experience it. So kind of stick to what you love and yeah, look for the bright spots. And so for us as an organisation, our next project is called Mother and we're going to be telling stories and creating a musical with mothers in Stoke-on-Trent. And this is really exciting because I think it's the first time for me that it's something that I have my own lived experience of. So I'm really looking forward to coming together with other mothers who have very different experiences to my own and seeing where those things meet and creating something really different and exciting for Stoke.